The DJI Flip only just came out and here are 10 problems with the DJI Flip. What's going on guys? My name is Dan Davis and I'm the creative director here on danstube.tv. And if you haven't seen already, I've done a bunch of content on the Flip so far. It is a great drone. Like as a standard comment, it is a great drone. It can capture 4K 10-bit video, 48 megapixel stills, 4K up to 100 frames per second in slow-mo. It's under 250 grams. It's a great drone across the board, but these are the main issues I've noticed with it so far. And I think this is really important to know as a consumer so you know whether to get this, because a lot of these things are important to know before buying the drone. Problem number one is wind. Now, the Flip can handle level five wind conditions, so that's really anything you can throw at it. But the problem is the propeller guards. Because it's not as aerodynamic as other drones, you will find that you're going to struggle to fly back in high winds. Now, this is something you have to be hyper aware of. If you're flying out with the wind, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be flying really fast. But then let's say you turn around and try to fly against the wind. That's where you could have some troubles. I found that the speed, even in sports mode, as I was trying to return back to myself, could sometimes tank out and it would fly back at a significantly slower rate and put you at danger of losing the drone. Problem number two is the fact that you can't flip it. It's called the DJI Flip. You can't flip it. There's no flipping functionality. It's a folding drone, so that's what they were going for with the flip name, but you can't flip it. There's no FPV options in here and no opportunity to flip it. So in terms of marketing, that is quite confusing. I know that there've been a bunch of people who just assumed, well, the Neo can flip, so obviously this drone can flip. But at the time of me doing this video, there is no option to flip this drone. Problem number three is the lack of waypoints. Now, this drone features all sorts of modes, right? It has master shots modes, it has obstacle avoidance at the front, it's got following modes, it's got all sorts of awesome features and pro level features, but there are no waypoints on this drone. So again, just keep that in mind. If you're looking for waypoints, this is not the drone to get. Problem number four is related to the following mode, and it's actually when you hand launch it. So if you're using the controller, this is not a problem. But if you're hand launching it and you're putting it in follow mode, even if you put it at a far distance for the following mode, you will find that it follows a little too close. A lot of the time your legs get cut off and there's kind of like a little bit too much headroom. So you can work around this a little bit. Like if you're moving fast, if you're on a bike or some scooter or something like that, or you're jogging, that's where the framing looks a lot cleaner in the far mode. But just by default, if you're walking at a steady pace, a lot of the time your legs are gonna be cut off and a lot of the time there's a decent amount of head space. So another thing to be aware of. Problem number five is to do with the auto settings. So whether you hand launch it or use the application, you have very limited control over the video. So you pretty much just have to deal with the auto mode. So if it's following you and the lighting conditions are changing like they are today, things are going to adjust quite often and you don't really have any control over it. It's pretty much just on auto mode when you're hand launching it or when you're using the app, you just have to deal with whatever the drone captures. If you're interested in the DJI Flip, then I do have some cracking deals down in the video description. For my Australian viewers, I've actually helped you save over $70,000 on your drones, cameras, and accessories from DJI. So make sure to reach out to sales at d1store.com.au and mention Dan's Tube, and they'll be able to help you out on the best deal they can with the DJI Flip. And for my international viewers, I've got some other awesome deals down below, so make sure to check them out. Problem number six is when you're using the app for the manual controls. If the phone disconnects from the drone, you have no return to home. So the drone will literally just hover there until you connect back to it. So you have to be really careful. If you're hovering over water and then it disconnects, the drone will hover there until it gets to a low battery life and then it will actually just start to land. So you have to be really careful of where you are. If you're over a tree line, over a building, not that you should be, but if you're over the water or wherever it may be and you disconnect from the phone, the drone is just gonna hover until it's ready to land. We do have obstacle avoidance with this front sensor here, but there is no option to bypass. So the only option you have is brake or just turning it off completely. Now I find with brake, it still does try to avoid trees. You can see that in my main test. It can kind of bypass, but keep in mind there is no option to bypass. It's either you turn it off or you have it in the brake mode where it just brakes 
and sits there and hovers. Problem number eight is the limited clearance. So that's when you're landing and when you're taking off. The rear motors here sit very, very close to the ground. And there have been many times where I've tried to take off and it's like kicking up all sorts of things underneath it. So the worry is that obviously things are gonna get caught up in the motor or the propellers are gonna get caught on something. So you do need to be aware that there is limited clearance with this drone. You're almost better just hand launching it because it's so easy to do. But if you set it down somewhere be mindful that it has very limited clearance. Problem number nine is the limited internal storage. So it's only got two gigabytes of internal storage. You do have the option right here to add an additional micro SD card. So that's how you can resolve this problem. But if you forget the micro SD card, which can happen, it happens all the time to people, then you've only got two gigabytes of internal storage. So that is a little bit limited. You can still capture some content, but you're quite limited with two gigabytes. Problem number 10 is the lack of goggles support. So again, it's called the DJI Flip. There's no option to flip it. There's no FPV mode. And that also means that you can't even use goggles with it. So even limiting it to being able to use goggles but not flipping, that's not even an option. You physically just can't connect it up to goggles, which seems like they've missed the mark with that one. I would love to see some goggle support with the DJI Flip. Anyway, guys, those are my 10 biggest problems with the DJI Flip. It's still a phenomenal drone and it does a great job in most scenarios, but I just wanted to highlight some of those problems that people might not know about. Really good to be informed of this before you pick up a drone. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will chat to you in the next one. Peace.